I welcome you again to the cross of God Church for all nations. The Lord God Almighty is with us and is for us. And we are a majority. The God we serve has always talked to us, find a chance to talk to us, find a way to get in touch with us. The Lord loves us so much. The God we serve made his word from himself to the earth. Jesus Christ come in form as a man, born as a virgin. He was born through a virgin, Mary. And his ministry started, lasted for three years to make us understand that God loves us, that God wants us back, that God is with us, that in everything we do, everything that we're thinking about, we should know that the one that created all galaxy, the one that created every part of the world, the one that created the deep, the one that cre created, created the dark, is with us. He is the father of all father. He is the father of the fatherless. He is the beginning and the end. He is the alpha and omega. God made his word to be himself. And he came in form of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ as a person told us, he said, you cannot see the father except through him. Because him and the father is one. And Jesus has always been with us. He has found his spirit to strengthen us, to give us boldness to speak. That is why I can stand here today to speak to you people. That is why I can preach. That is why the Lord opened my eyes and made me his prophet to speak forth. Today, I am talking about the Lord that speak. The Lord that speak. The Lord that speak. If you worship a God that doesn't speak, then that is not a, that is not your God. God from the beginning has been speaking to us, to our great 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 grandfathers, from the days of Melchizedek. To the days of Jesus Christ. From the days of Jesus Christ on earth up to now God is speak, speaking to us. I worship the God that speaks to us. That tells us things that we need to know. Things that we need to do. Many people come to a cross. A stop point. No direction. No how their life will go. They don't know which path they need to follow. Why not come to Jesus to give you the direction? He is the life. He is the truth. There is no other way to God except through him. In your life, you have been having different problems. You have been looking for directions. There is no way you have come to that crossroad. That crossroad, you stand, nothing to do, nothing to understand. Nothing to see. Why not ask the creator, the one that created heaven and earth, the one that created every firmament, all galaxies that we are still searching for, all stars. Why not come to him and let him know that you are seeking him. He has told you when you seek him, you will find him. When you knock, the door will open. Why not look for him? Why do you go to the wrong places to search for God? Many has come to that crossroad road to go to the fortune teller to tell them things. Why not come to God to tell you the right things? Some will say, oh, okay, I've, I've been going to church and my church, uh, the, the pastor doesn't, doesn't talk to us, doesn't prophesy to us, or doesn't say anything, doesn't hear from God. Why not go to a living church where God still talks? Where God tells you the truth. 
I know many, many are there, pastors trying to speak as though God told them. And later in the years, you started finding out that all those things that the men of God said, no one has come to pass. If it's God's word, it shall come to pass. But what I'm telling you is that we serve a God that speaks. The Lord sees speak to us up to today. We have seen different things that the Lord has made us to know. Things in my life, things in other people's life. Things that we, we see on earth today. Things that are happening, the Lord told his own. Some, some many years ago, some in the Bible, some now, still going on. If you worship God in spirit and in truth, you will know that God still speaks. I came today as the Lord has commanded me to speak. He said, I should, tell my, I should tell his children that he still speaks. That most of them are going to the wrong places to seek him. There's only way, one way to him, himself. There's no other way. He is himself through himself. He made it simpler for us. That is why he made his word to become Christ. He made Jesus Christ. Jesus came through a virgin. So we could communicate with him as a person. So we don't need any, any giant to tell us anything. We don't need any fortune teller to tell us anything. He said, come the way you are. If you come the way you are, he can speak to you. The Bible recorded in, 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 in Genesis, we saw Adam and Eve, they were naked. And God still speak to them. They were naked. They are the one that told God that they are naked. And God said, who told you? Many of us, many people have accused themselves of sin that they don't even, they don't even know about. Sin that they don't, they don't even know about any sin, but they condemn themselves in front of God. They don't know about the sin, and they said that sin belongs to them. Why do you prosecute yourself thinking that if you prosecute yourself in front of God, that means you are a sinner. Many of, many of us, because we don't, we, don't, we don't go to a place where the Lord speaks, we, we, we start condemning ourselves. And we condemn ourselves in front of the Father. The sin that you don't have any clue about, you use it to justi justify yourself, to become what? Right with God. It doesn't work that way. Stand in the truth. When you stand in the truth, the Lord will know that you stand for the truth. The Bible talks about the, the, the man that, that went to God. And when he went to God, he was, he was trying to justify himself. And what did the Bible say? The Bible said what? He condemned himself in front of God. He condemned himself in front of God. Come the way you are. You don't need to tell God that I'm good or I'm bad. Tell, come to God that this is who I am. You pray to God. Believe. He said he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He is a rewarder. Those who that, those who that have faith, you must have faith. You must have faith. The God that speaks is telling you, you must have faith. Many condemn themselves. They are getting to the, to the, to the, to the point. They start condemning themselves. I told you last Sunday, I was talking about uh, uh, what the Lord told us about people planting corn. After they plant corn, they begin to kill the corn. They plant the corn and they remove it again. They plant the corn, they remove it again. They plant the corn today, tomorrow they remove it that it's not growing. It takes days. Because they don't, they, don't, they, 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 don't, they don't listen to the God that speaks. But when you listen to God that speaks, you have that assurance because you have faith in God. The God that speaks is with you. Is everlasting to everlasting. We come, we, we, we come to God trying to justify ourselves. We are, we, we, you can't do that. Don't try to justify yourself. Let faith justify you. Being justified, being justified. Being justified, being justified. Him, he is the one that can justify you, not you. Those people that try to justify themselves, then they end up not 
pleasing God. We saw different type of people in the Bible that tried to justify themselves. And when they justify themselves, the devil use, use, it, use it against them. I told you, when, when, when you read the Bible, you, you saw what God said. In Genesis. Telling, tell, telling, telling Adams. And when he was talking to Adams, he said, Adams. Adams was the one that tried to justify himself in front of God. He said, God, I'm naked. He tried to justify himself in front of God. God, I'm naked. <laughs> the one that created you didn't see that you are naked. He saw that Adam was naked. But he didn't, he didn't see it at Adam. He see beyond. The Bible recorded the same God was the one that still take him an animal to give him clothes to, 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 to cover him up. Up to today, God is still seeking after us. The Lord that speaks. God is still speaking, speaking, he's still talking to us. But most have put a deaf ear not to listen. Condition of life. How many years can you live in this earth? How many? How many? If you if you if you have if you said you want to be old, 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 you cannot be older than Methuselah. Can you? Said, oh, his age is well, 355 years old. Now, that is not true. Or his age is 200 years old. That is not true. But what I'm trying to make you understand is listen to God that speaks. Listen to the Lord that speaks. Many, many, many have come, have cooked up stories to, 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 to tell people what is not true. They, they cook up those stories and give to people. People listen to that cook up story. They listen to the God that speaks. They listen to the Lord that speaks. Let me show you an example of those things. Let, let's just go to Proverbs 18. We'll just, I will show you something in Proverbs 18. Please open to your Bible. Proverbs 18. Let me read from let, let me read from that uh, from from verse one of that proverb eighteen. A man who's I, I, I what isolate himself seek his own what desire he ranges against all what wise judgment. A fool has no delight in what understanding but in expression expressing his own what heart. Are you saying that? He said, when the wicked comes, the contempt comes, comes also, and with what dishonor comes reproach. The words of men mouth are what? Deep, what? Waters. The wellspring of wisdom is what? Flowing, what? Broke. It is, it is not good to show partiality to the, to the wicked, or to what? Overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into what? Contention and his mouth calls for what? Blow. Verse 7. A fool's mouth is what? A destruction and his own lips are what? Snell of his what? Soul. The word of a, a what? A, a tell bearer are like what? Testing. It test what? Testing a triumph, triumph. And they go down into what? In the most body, in the most body. Verse nine: He who is slothful in his work, his brother to him who is what greater destroyer. Let me read that again. He who is slothful in his work, his brother is is what is a brother to him who is what is a great destroyer. The name of the the Lord is a what? A strong tower. The righteous run it, run to it, and they are what? Same. Let me stop there. 
I took this place to, to show you the God that still speaks. The, I, I, uh, the, the God that speaks. The Lord that speaks. The Lord that speaks. The God that speaks. Many, as I said, many have come to understand that people will cook, I mean, cook top story and give it to them. And the Lord said, those people that cook up the story and give it to them, that they, under, they, they take those people's understanding, they will, they, 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 will, they will fall flat, they will fail in life. People listen to the wrong things instead of the right things. They'll come to that crossroad in their life because that wisdom is the wisdom of God is not there. But if they have been listening to God that speak, the wisdom will come. The wisdom of God will come. People will use their own, I told you, people will use their own mouth to destroy what they have built. I gave you an example. I said a farmer that plants a corn. After the first day, the second day, pull it out. What is the farmer doing? What I'm trying to say is that if you are blessing people, if you are blessing people with your mouth, stop cursing them. If you listen to God that speaks, you will see some things that the Lord God has told us, has explained to us. I told you that a man went to pray. Two men, as the Lord said, said two men, they came to pray. One was, one came and started uh, 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 justifying himself. Justifying himself in front of God. Even condemning another person to get what? To get favor from God. And God said he's not a partiality person. He told us he's not a partiality God. And we saw it now. It's not, it is not partial. It is not going to be partial to the wicked. He said, I will cut off the remembrance of the wicked. That is God. This is the God that speaks. Don't let those cooks up, cook, cook up story to convince you and tell you otherwise what the, the Lord is saying. If the Lord said, it is. Yes, it is. If the Lord gives, yes, he gives. If the Lord said, this is my own, no matter what, what you like, that what God said will stand. People have come to, to, to the belief. Instead of believing God, they started of believing religion. Here is God and here is religion. This is man-made and this is God. You can have things, material things, doesn't mean that you are worthy. Now, those that are for God, when they have things, they become blessing to others. They become eternal blessing. What I mean eternal blessing is that their remembrance cannot be cut off because it's from God. The Bible said what? The righteous man <laughs> the righteous man is is what is flourishing all the time and cannot be weaned. And whatsoever he does shall what shall prosper. I've seen some people that started well. They started well. They started well. They started coming to a living church, but. Here comes the devil using other people to condemn the man of God. That that man of God, that man, what does he know? The, what does that man of God know? What does that man of God know? And they begin to condemn that man of God. The devil started talking because of man-made religion that is supposed to do this in this, is supposed to do this. And doing that, their condemnation started coming. Things are not going right for them. But they are too proud to come back to where God is. To get where God is. You go back to the man of God and say, man of God, God is with you and I'm with you. Life is going bad because you are not coming to God that speaks. 
You are coming to a man's understanding, men of God that have cooked, uh, some, some people that have cooked up story. Those, those religious people that have cooked up story that are not for God, for their own belly. Go to the God that speaks. Speak, the one that speaks, the Lord of hosts, speaks to his children. He tells them things. He walks with them. It is from the Bible. Up to now, the Lord is still trying to get, 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 get us together. Get his children. As the Bible said, he said, many have infiltrated into the church to, to what? To, 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 cause, to cause domination. To cause them domination. To cause them domination. Why? Because the devil, they are, they are being shifted by the devil because they have no spirit of God. You can be shifted by the devil because you have no spirit of God. But if you have the spirit of God, you will stand still and stand in the word of God. Religion cannot take you apart because you hear the God that speak. You know when God is speaking. You know when man is speaking. God loves us so much. He cares about us. His word is with us. His word is always with us. Because we have come to our own understanding, we begin to see all things that is not of God, thinking that is of God. The blessings of God, we see the blessing of God, we said it's not blessing of God. But when we see something that is not of God, we begin to say this is of God. I see many, many, many Christians falling because of that, because of religion things. I, 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 I see understanding that it's not, it's not, it's not of God in a lot of people. A lot of people that I see. I plead with you today that some of some of the people that are trying to, to convince you in their religion, in their own understanding. If that person has been in the ministry for, for let's say, uh, 15 years, doesn't mean he understands God. But if it's of God, you will know. You will know that this one belongs to the Father. If it's the high calling of the Most High God, he will show and it's a spirit, it's one spirit. That means that person is listening to the God that speaks. He listens to the Lord that speaks. You see the story in the Bible. When, when David, David was hearing from God, David, we saw, we, 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 we saw his son. We, we, we saw his, his son hearing from God, listening to the prophet. We, we, we see them how they listen to the prophet because they were hearing from God to do things. But we begin to act in our own understanding. The Bible asks, it said, can a blind man lead a blind man? They will fall into a hole, into a ditch. That's why many, many churches get a lot of problems because of that. When, the, when, there's, when somebody is leading and then that person is blind. I remember I was talking about a pastor. And I was praying for God to open his eye. Even though the Lord told me as I'm speaking right now that he showed him, he showed him what happened. And the pastor, I told you, I called the name of the place. The pastor, I told you what will happen to the pastor. I don't know celebrating what I said. Celebrating his obituary. Even though the Lord tried to show him in his dream, he defied God. And you say you want to leave. Six feet under. The God that speaks is everlasting to everlasting. Everything that is coming, that is happening to the world, the Lord tells his children. He tells us, he said, these are the things that are happening. He speaks the God that we serve, the God we worship, still speaks. Then he speaks. Why not go to the church that God speaks? You became a, you you go to a you be, you go to a place where you become a statue. You be, you just stay 
like this. Like a, a structure, just calm. Nothing is happening in your life. You are either left or right. You are either forward or, or, or backward. Your life just remains in a crossroad. Because you don't go to a place where the Lord speaks. I'm telling you this. If you get this understanding, you begin to know things. When you go to a place where the Lord's where the Lord speaks, you will see. Why go to the wrong places? If you go to the wrong places, you get the wrong things. We see things. I see, I see, I, I see some, some uh, uh, people con uh, condemning people, uh, condemning people, condemning people that uh, took the vaccine. I can't, I can't, I can't believe that somebody will say, sir, and the person called Jesus Christ. And said it is a mark of what? A mark of beast. Huh? And this is religion. Never follow religion. Never follow religion. The same person that is telling you that is a mark of beast goes and takes his own. And telling you that, start telling the, the member of the church that is a mark of beast. He went to the hospital. They told him, uh, Pastor, you can take, you can take, you can, you can be immunized. He said, Okay, I will try to try it. And he has told his member, he has told his member that is a mark of beast, that they should not take it. Pastor, do what I say, don't do what I do. And people are getting sick in the church. Why not advise them and tell them to take, go and take something that is good for them, that's something that will protect them. Prevention. Let me use this word again. Prevention is better than cure. Prevention is better than cure. Prevention of a thing, a disaster. Huh? When you prevent a disaster, you don't need to go to a hospital or you don't need to you don't you don't you don't need to go and save anything anymore. I repeat again, prevention is better than cure. Tell the truth, speak the truth. It doesn't make you less a man, it doesn't make you less a pastor. But speak the truth. God sees speaks. God sees speaks. Stop playing religion with people. Stop playing with religion with people's life. Listen to the Father as the Father speaks. In those days of Elijah, there's 400, 400, 400, 400 so-called prophets. In the days of Elijah, so 400 so-called prophets convincing people doing religion for their own belly, trying to get honor. Trying to equate it as, as, as a human knowledge. The things of God is not a human knowledge. It's not what people can study. Said, oh, what are you doing? I'm studying God. You, you will spend the age that the Lord has given you and you will die. The Lord showed himself unto people that he want to. His high calling. Stop letting people deceive you. Stop letting people tell you that God doesn't speak. God is not speaking. God is still speaking. Go to the right place. You get to the right place. Oh, you said, how do I know the right place? Tell the Father. The Father hears you. Father, direct me to the right place. And he will tell you to the right place. Except you, yourself, doesn't want the place that the Lord is sending you to. Said, ah, I know. The, the, uh, there's a lot of fake people. How do I know the right place? Ask the Lord to show you. The Lord will show you. The Lord, the Lord, the, the Lord will direct your path. That is what he said. He is a God of his word. He never changed. He is I am that I am. He still remains God. Yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus, yesterday, today, and forever. He is the everlasting king of glory. The greater I am. Your understanding cannot, cannot pave way for you. But the understanding of God who, 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 who give honor to you. The understanding, the wisdom of God brings honor to you. The knowledge of God brings honor to you. Why not go to a place where the Lord speaks? Then you seek in the wrong places. And if you seek the wrong places, you get the wrong things. 
The Lord hears. The Lord, the Lord is God that hears. He is the everlasting king. The greater I am. Jesus yesterday, today and forever. He said I am that I am. The same one that still speak to Moses in the wilderness. Is the same one that is still speaking today. The same God that is still calling you come to me. In, come to me the way you are. Come to me. I have given you a name that you can use to come to me. He said, call upon that name Jesus. Call upon that name Jesus. And the name said, if you want to get to the Father, be in the Spirit. In his own spirit, not man's spirit. Many have come trying to, 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 to gather things to create evil spirit. You have to understand this. You have to understand this. God still speaks. God still speaks. God still speaks. God still speaks. He is a mighty God. He is an Adonai. He is an Adonai. The Adonai God, that's what I'm talking. The El Shaddai. The Alpha and Omega, the front and back, the center of everything. He is the center of everything. What a mighty God we worship. What a God. There's none like him. Seek the truth. Seek the truth. Seek the truth. And when you seek the truth, you will find that truth. The truth is Jesus. He is the way. He is the light. There is no other way except him. And when you receive Jesus, fellowship in him. When you fellowship with him, acts of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Go to a living church. As you go to a living church, the Holy Spirit will, will brood you up. We start, we, we start walking in you. You will become a marvelous wonder to the world. You are the light of the world. You cannot be hidden. The Lord will speak to you day and night. The Lord will hold you like an egg. He will protect you. He is Elohim. He is your counselor. He is the Prince of Peace. Why won't you have peace in your life? I see a man, a man, I see this man as I'm speaking right now. I see a man, uh, um, this man that I'm seeing right now, you are 53 years old. Your name is Simon, Simon, uh, Simon, uh, Ag 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 Agudere? Uh, sorry, your last name, I'm trying to pronounce it. You are 53 years, your name is uh, 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 Simon Agudere. I'm trying to, 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 to see what is going on with you. You are, as I'm saying right now, you are so confused. You are so confused. What I'm trying to say, uh, you are so confused that you have some pills in your head. That maybe these pills will help you calm yourself down. Pills, pills cannot help you. Why not go to a living church? Go to a living church. Go to a living church. If you go to a living church, Jesus speaks. The Lord speaks. The Father speaks. All your situation, you will see, you will see solution. They will, you will be given solution. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that God direct you to the right path. That that pills that you are taking will not help you anymore. In the name of Jesus. I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about Guderes. I'm calling you by your last name now that you know that I'm talking to you. The God of hosts, the one that still speaks, is still talking to me to tell you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jehovah Paliara Dose, Brigi Bra all of brothers and Telebro. Liban do ya paro dozo troske because of tole bra is a troskelebro. My father Jehovah King of Glory, you never fail me. Father, I pray for Liz in the name of Jesus. I pray for Liz in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, be merciful, be merciful, be merciful in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Balakia Talo Riam Asile Ira Ta Ria Makosa Trap Masatroskele Bradia Satraskebalia Barose Traskebo Labia Kasatroskebalia Tala Everywhere Barabasu Telebrain Bigasatru in her body from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. I Baradia Kasatala Baros of Troskebo. I touch every part of her body in the name of Jesus Christ. My father stretch your hand and touch her in that hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fathers, I stretch forth your hand, Balakia to Riba Hata. Stretch forth your hand and touch her in the name of Jesus. My father, touch, stretch forth your hand and touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her, her, her feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be fire in her body. Let there be fire, fire, fire of healing. Maya katu ye beya ru sapare deselia. Likum bayata rudasia reketu la barasi. The one that called me, the one that sent me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your body be quickened, even though your body is dead to so sin. Be quickened by the Spirit of God. By be, be, be quickened by the Spirit of God. Be quickened by the Spirit of God. But be quickened by the Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be quickened. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be quickened. Be quickened in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Be quickened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every part of your body, every part of your of your blood in your body, be quickened in the name of Jesus. Be quickened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God. You never fail me. You have called me by a satia lagosotros. You say whatsoever I decree on earth is also decreed in heaven. In the name of Jesus, and it's established in your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you say whatsoever I speak for goes and accomplish what He said to do. In the name of Jesus, I quicken the body. In the name of Jesus Christ, my. Tazulo bra ira talabaria sata la paride kunja barusia la batia in the name of Jesus let there be healing let there be healing let there be healing in the kubabasile bon de yabaroso through from the crown of her head in the name of Jesus to the sole of her feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my Father thank you King of Glory thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord I worship you in the name of Jesus Christ Father. I pray, I, um, I remember I told this, the month of March, I said something about the accident. A lot of accident has been happening and I've been praying to God that God, that God should protect a lot of people. And I advise people, I remember I was saying it here, that people should pray when they go out because of an accident. A lot of accident, a lot of accident. And I've been praying to God to cancel a lot and I've been canceling a lot. I'm still saying to people, there are many few days that is left. I'm asking you guys, in the mighty name of Jesus, pray before you leave the house. Pray. Thank, the, thank God to guide you, to guide your step in the name of Jesus Christ. When God guides you, there's a light that shines. There's a light that comes out that protects you. I speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those that are viewing us, those that will see this video in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are sick in your body, be healed. If you are going through any problem, if you are seeking for job, you will receive job in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever the enemy has planned, I cancel it in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed in your going out, be blessed in your coming in the name of Jesus. You are the favor of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I say thank you because you are good. Thank you because we are excellent God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray Balayiro Tonzi Arapo, Lerati La Rossi, Rimanto Yebredia Satas Cabalia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see a family and I pray for this family. I pray for them in the name of Jesus. My Father Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God will provide. The Lord God will provide. The Lord God will provide in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for watching us today. May the Lord God Almighty be with you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And I love you guys, but God, God loves you most. God loves you. Yeah, God loves you most. God loves you most. God, God loves you. No matter how I said I love you, 
God loves you more than I do. In Jesus' name. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Join us also on Sunday. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.